Hey, welcome to D-Lab, everybody. In this video, I'm going to retrofit this Fender Champion 20 amplifier from solid state to a push-pull tube amp utilizing the D-Lab ECB AB boards. Let's go. Well, here is the rear of the Fender Champion 20. This is a great candidate for conversion to tube type because as you can see, we are wide open under here. There's no power transformers, there's no heat sinks, and there's plenty of clearance between the speaker and the chassis. So if you can envision a power transformer nestled here, all your tubes output transformer over here. So let's pop out the chassis and I'll show you how the new inner workings are gonna mount in the Champion. Well, here's the inside of the Fender Champion 20. First thing I noticed, is this amp did not have a power transformer. They're coming in with the AC line going through the switch. It goes direct to the circus board. So you must have some fancy switching power supply going on, but that doesn't matter because everything in here is coming out. And in its place, I'll be landing the D-Lab ECB-AB push-pull board. And we'll have the power supply module. And I have to punch holes for four tubes on the rear. Alright guys, that's the game plan. We're going to convert this worthless solid state amp into a worthy tube amplifier. I'll be posting updates as the project matures. Stay tuned. Here's the volume. There's trouble. This is working great, man. So you got a pair of 6AQ5 output tubes, 6AV6 inverter, 12AX7 preamp. Alright, let's review the build on the Fender Champion 20 to a tube type guitar amp. So I made a custom front panel. This was made out of 40,000 aluminum painted black and I have a vinyl cutter that I did the artwork with. Let's flip it around and see how the chassis fit. Alright here is the back side. I flipped the amp upside down so you can see how nicely the chassis fits with the new transformer and tubes. I used the existing speaker which sounds really good. I was shocked. So this is our power transformer, pair of 6AQ5 output tubes, 6AV6 inverter tube, 12AX7 preamp, and a Hammond 125H output transformer. And behind where the speaker plugs in, there is an impedance switch so you can select four or eight ohms. All right, let's pull the chassis out. So the chassis comes right out as it did originally. Here's a better view of the top side layout. You can see that impedance switch I was talking about for the speaker. Let's take a look underside. All right, here is the bottom of the amp. This design is based off the D-Lab ECB AB board, which is a driver for push-pull output tubes. So we have our pair of 6AQ5s. That's my inverter and the preamp tube. The power supply is a D-Lab Cub 1 board which does rectification and filtering. There's our built-in fuse. The existing rear switch has been abandoned because we added the front toggle switch. Input jack and controls went into existing holes. I spaced those out to meet up nicely with our front panel. We have a little LED for the power indicator light. Complete build details and schematic. To convert the Champion 20 to a tube amp is on my Patreon site. Alright, so Tony is playing. This was a retrofit amp. This used to be a uh, Fender Champion 20 solid state. Pulled out the solid state crap and made it tube, man.
jumping out. You Sounds know? great. Yeah, it does. It's about the best sound of seven watts I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it sounds really good. That came out great. Yeah, it did, man.